When rooms like Ani and Rashid Shabra drew a poster for International Women's Day, they did not know that it will be in the midst of a fierce national dispute in Pakistan. For Ramzi question about how to sit in women, a daily challenge. We have to be elegant, we should care not to show the form of our body. When a man sits with legs apart, one eye and not blink. Best friend Rumi, Rashid, came up with the slogan. She wanted to draw attention to the fact that women always say how to sit, how to walk, how to speak. Rooms and Rashid met in the first year of study at the university. Rooms studying communication design and Rashid social development and policy. For Rumsi relationship with a family who puts pressure on her marriage, a daily struggle. The fact that she's still not married, Rumi perceives as a personal victory. Rashid says that constantly faces harassment on the street. It also considers the expectations that should definitely get married and be a housewife, and pleasant. It was an extraordinary feeling when women loudly declared their rights, says Rumi. It was our space, and I think all the participants felt a powerful wave of it. Women's marches have become an important event for the feminist movement in Pakistan. Not only were they numerous, their participants represented different classes of society and the Layat community. In 2018, the World Economic Forum named Pakistan the second worst country in gender equality from 149 countries. The only country where things worse is Yemen. Women in Pakistan suffer from domestic violence, forced marriage, sexual harassment, and can also be victims of murder's honor. The fact that we walked right down the street and basically said our slogans were offensive to many, she says and adds, people think that it threatens Islam, although I don't think so. I think that Islam is a feminist religion. My body, my choice, your body, your choice. Men's body, men's choice. So they creep up on anyone, said the priest in the video that was posted online. Critics have accused the cleric of inciting rape, and the organizer of the March Month claims that often get threats of rape and death after the women's marches. In social networks, a wave of hatred, and many of the organizers received threats of rape, she says. I think it's just part of the bigger picture generability that we threw the challenge. Many self-proclaimed fans of feminism took part in this campaign of hatred. They said something like, this is not something you should pay attention to is not how to behave as a woman, says Rumi. Even my own friends who called themselves feminists said that my sign was inappropriate. One of the leading activists of the feminist movement in Pakistan, Xerbar the Invention, believes that the poster Rome and Rasida and others like them, showed disrespect for the traditions and values of the society. It also says that those who believe will be able to protect their rights in this way, lost orientation as well as jihadists who believe that killing innocent people will ensure their place in paradise. Right girls sit, legs spread, is whether it is to do with his body what he wants, without having to it is not threatened and shamed. This applies whether it is the right to move freely, it concerns the allegations made by the victim and those who accuse, not the girl, as if she did not. I'm not shy and not afraid of such attention, is one of the reasons why we use such slogans, is that we want attention to women's marches and issues of concern to us.